Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiz Alam. In our previous session, we have seen how the sales tax uh, can be calculated and how can we apply the various various discounts on the sales tax uh, calculations. And today I am going to uh, tell you about the uh, payment of sales tax. Uh, how it is, uh, how the payment uh, is done for the United States edition. So, if we talk about sales tax, so it is usually due either monthly, quarterly, or annually uh, with high volumes. If it has a high volume of sellers, so they opt for paying it on monthly basis. And if there are uh, smallest volume of sellers, so they are required to file and pay only once in a year. So it can be. Uh, 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 based on the uh, volume of the sellers, the sales uh, uh, tax payment. So if we talk about the uh, tax payment, so it is a remittance to a tax authority, which we set up as a vendor. And NetSuite calculates tax for the items that are marked as taxable. Then the calculated tax is included in the total amount that is charged to the customer on the invoices and sales orders. And the amount of a tax payment is based on these calculations. So here we will see that uh, on our NetSuite application, how can we make payments for the sales tax? So for that, we have to go into transaction bank. Here we have the option of pay sales tax. So we can see that uh, these are the various, various sales payments that have been uh, created. Now, if uh, I want to create a new transaction for this, so I will click on it. So this is the sales ta uh, tax payment page. <laughs> the first thing that we have to do is we have to uh, select a subsidiary here. So I am selecting this one. And uh, under the account, uh, we have to select the bank account. Uh, we are paying this tax from. And only the bank account that are associated with the selected subsidiary uh, will be populated or shown us over here. So I will be selecting this, this account. And uh, if this uh, uh, subsidiary is used using any kind of nexus, so we can define the nexus here. This is not the mandatory one. The date you can see is already populated. Posting period is here. So you can see as uh, for the previous periods, uh, they have already closed. So it is not showing us. So we have to take the current one since it is open. And the account balance that is there for this account is visible here. That is 2507.35. This uh, to be printed is like if we want, if we check this box. So if we want to save this transaction in a print queue to print it later, so we can check this box. Otherwise, uh, we can uh, clear it. And this adjustment account here, so we can select an account to record the amount of the sales tax liability. And this liability amount is based on the values. Uh, that we have taken in the adjustment column. So if we uh, mention any amounts here, so that will be recorded under this adjustment account. Here we have the drop down available. We can select the account. Further, we can also provide any department class and location if we want to. We can also mention a memo here. Now, if we go down here under the text liability, so you can see that he, here we have this option of end date. So usually the end date defaults to the current date, but we can enter a date uh, to filter out the uh, sales tax liability and only the open tax liability that are incurred on or before this date populates the tax code uh, that are calculated in the amount due column. So whatever date uh, we have selected, uh, if any sales tax liabilities are there, whether it is on or before that date. So that will be uh, appearing on to the amount due column here. But by default, we can take uh, today's date also. And this include all payment uh, made after end date is like if we want to, um, if we check this box, when we want all the 
tax payment including those that are paid after the end date to be taken while calculating the tax liability and if we do not want that so we can uh, clear this box out so here we have these these uh, nexus and the vendors that are associated with such vendors uh, with such nexus are also there uh, either we can mark it all uh, you can see that i have checked it all so all the nexuses have been selected if i want to uh, select uh, uh, if i want uh, some of the nexuses to be uh, paid so we can select like this you can see that under the amount paid uh, we have this amount due uh, populated as i have checked this box and this adjustment is like uh, we can here we can enter an amount to adjust a specific sales tax liability that is linked to a tax code like uh, when a customer is given any kind of discount for early payments and all along with that if there are any rebates or penalties so we can mention that over here and uh, to increase uh, the liability we can enter a positive amount on the contrary in order to decrease the liability we can enter a negative amount like uh, here you can see that for this uh, nexus ny new york new york america the amount due is 80 so if i mention here plus 20 so you can see that the amount paid has been increased to 100 similarly if i go down here and if i select negative minus 35 so you can see that as i have selected the minus this is an indication that the customer is given certain certain discount that is for 35 so that 35 has been deducted from this 135 but for the first one as i have selected the positive value that is 20 so it has been added to the amount due and the total amount that is to be paid is comes to 100 so in order to increase the liability we can enter a positive amount like this and uh, just opposite of it if we want to decrease uh, the liability so we can enter a negative amount so the, you can see that as we want to decrease the liability so the amount due for it uh, was uh, 135 as i have entered a negative value over here so the liability so the amount that is to be paid has been uh, reduced or decreased so i am taking only these two for making payments of sales tax this other tax payable is about like it shows all the journal entry uh, transactions that debits or credits the sales tax payable and uh, if uh, any tax agencies are assigned to the vendor but they are not linked to any of the tax code so for that purpose the other tax under the other tax payable all the debits and credits will be appearing if it is not uh, associated with any of the tax code or uh, the tax agency is not been assigned to the vendors so we can have those uh, amount due and amount paid here so and here also you can see that for the amount that uh, the total of these two amounts that is to be paid comes to 200 under the tax code also 200 is coming so we are done with the whole uh, tax payment procedure now i will click on save okay so as i have selected uh, some adjustment amounts here so i have to select an account wherein these amounts will be posted so i am taking this now i will click on save so here we can see that our uh, transaction has been successfully saved i have taken these two nexuses and uh, both of them has the amount of 100 and the total uh, tax that is to be paid is 200 i will click on okay it contains the internal id document number as i have selected the to be printed so it will get printed uh, later on as it is uh, under queue so in this manner we can uh, pay out uh, our sales tax uh, we can also take the adjustment amounts if we want to that is based on the requirement and if we do not want so we can uh, uh, 
separately or we can uh, simply take an take an amount that is due for payment so that's all about the topic in case of any doubts and uh, consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you